Hello, and welcome to a special segment of the Pirate Preview. I'm Tate Adams, joined alongside my co-host, Jake Helton. Today, we're excited to host members of the Charlestown Cross Country team in the studio to talk about their season and the upcoming conference and sectional meets. We have senior Jesse McCoy to represent the girls' team and junior Mason Oakley representing the boys' team. Jesse, you've won five invitationals this year, set course records, set your own PRs, and are just running really well. We know that you are super humble and don't like to talk about your own personal accomplishments, so just walk us through what one of your workouts looks like each week and what makes you do so good at what you do. Yeah, so each week we do hard workouts and easy runs. Without any meets that week, we do hard workouts Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and then easy runs Tuesdays and Thursdays. And this, me and my sister Jackie, we on Saturdays run extra, like maybe seven miles easy. So you see, to me, you know, seven miles does not sound easy, but <laughs> <laughs> but that's what you guys do, you know. Uh, so on that, what are uh, some of the goals you set for yourself and the team this year, and um, have you been able to accomplish them yet? Well, so my PR, I want to be, I want to get to 18 minutes. But so far, I haven't reached it, but I'm, I'm really hoping that during semi state, I can, and I really want to. And for the team, our team goal is to get to semi state, which we have before, and I think it is very doable with what we've been practicing for. Yeah, I agree. You guys look incredible out there, Thank and you. Uh, you are the reigning sectional champs and look to make a good run again. So what is your outlook for sectionals? I know you said that you're looking to make it to semi-state, so you're probably looking far beyond sectionals yeah. already. But uh, what's the mindset you have going into that that kind of keeps you going and keeps you wanting to run harder? To be honest, it's all because of God. Um, I look to him to, like, push me, and he really helps me to get where I want to go and for the team to, like, help the team win and stuff. Yeah, it's a good mentality to have. And uh, over to Mason. You've led the boys' team this year and medaled in nearly every race, so tell us what your workouts are like. So, mostly, I, I'm with the Twins. I try to work out every uh, like every day with the team, but I will say every once in a while uh, at the gym, I will maybe start doing maybe wild repeats or maybe some 800 repeats because those really help with some uh, long distance and also just keeping up your endurance. Mason, not only are you leading the boys in finishes, but you're also the only returner leading all new team members. How do you manage that leadership role, and how do you take advantage of that to, to help motivate the rest of the team and motivate yourself to do well? So I really hope that most of the boys on the team look up to me for that leadership role because as of last year, that's kind of what I've done, is I looked up to my leader, which last year was Dylan Kinzer. And I try to take what I learned from him and I hope to apply it onto the boys that I have on this year and make them the best team I can possibly have. Yeah, and we understand that this team, uh, both boys and girls, are a really tight-knit group. Um, you guys seem like a family and even do a lot of things together, you know, outside of the races. So um, tell us more about this and how it affects your performance and practices. Yeah, so we do a lot of things together. Like after practices, we might hang out for like another hour or two. And during the summer, we even have like a camp for like, three days where we all just hang out and run extra and like do fun stuff together and then sometimes we'll go to each other's houses and like have like dinner or lunch or something and just like a kind of like a family yeah i could agree that this is a really special bond that you don't mm -hmm. see too often in other uh you know teams and i'm really happy to have it and i think this affects us in a really positive way because not only do you have the motivation of your teammates whenever you see them out there cheering you on, because if you see that, yeah, it's a little bit of a push on another team. But whenever you're on the cross-country team and you see your teammates cheering you on, it just gives you that big push. And I'm so glad that I'm able to hang out with them outside, uh, inside practice, no matter where it is. That it, it just feels like a family. All right, and one more question before you guys go. Everyone knows that runners love a pregame dinner. The day before, night before, they have a, everyone has a huge meal. So walk us through what your uh, day before meal looks like. Spaghetti and carbs, and that is it. <laughs> yeah, I, I can kind of agree on that. So I like to eat a lot of bread before uh, the day before, and then like usually the morning of that race, If I that's even if I do eat. I, I usually try to, but if I don't have the time, it's oh well. But I, I like to eat oatmeal. It's a sounds odd, but oatmeal is kind of my go-to before a race. Yeah, it's a total carb overload. 
That's exactly and right. uh We'd like to thank you guys for spending some time with us today and providing us an insight on the cross country team. And we wish you guys the best of luck as you travel to Hanover College tomorrow for the Southwestern Duke Meyer Classic Invitational. And then on to the remainder of your season. And that'll wrap things up for this special segment of Pirate Preview. Stay tuned for more on all of our fall sports.